beautiful music, painting pictures, this be my bitch. We want to talk about your relationship, bro, with um, with X. Everybody on the channel has has followed us specifically because of the X. Hundred percent, right? Long live Ja. You know what I'm saying? So you did a song with him, and you did, and the the video came out. What do you still feel? How do you still feel about the X situation, bro? Um, like, like, what you mean? How do I feel? Like, how has it impacted you musically? Like, has it made you move different? Do you do you feel like a different energy ever since he's passed away? Yeah, man, that boy was my life. That was my yeah. soul. We think he was gonna be the biggest artist of all time if he kept going. If, obviously, rest in peace. If he was alive, we st we think he would have been the biggest artist of all time. And I think that's one reason why we... He no ceiling. He had no ceiling. No ceiling at all. But ultimately, you feel me? Like, somebody like that got me to be even more versatile. And just like that, I got him to even be even more versatile. You know, we looked up to each other. Like, and I still do to this day. You know? Like, Did you lose anyone else? Like, before he passed away, have you had, like, lost friends and shit that passed away in the past? Hell yeah, hell yeah. It's like it's like PTSD almost, right? Like that shit takes a toll. It's like niggas is in the war. Yeah. Same like it. Yeah. Just people that was just right there. Yeah, yeah. Now, man, we, we respect you, and I think that's one reason why we adored Lights of Trip so much, because that moment is when we lost X, and then we heard your music, and we were like felt like the versatility that X was showing. And when X will get serious, and when X will turn up, and like you were just showing that through life's a trip, and I think that's one reason why we gravitated towards it so much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. At that time, it was also uh, it was also like you know around the time that uh, I was around X. Yeah. He was like my best friend. You know, he was flying to LA every day for the whole So. Yeah, that's that's really when that project came about the way it did, bro. Okay, because I was just around him, studying how he was moving, and he was studying me and how I was moving. I used to live with him. How long? I lived with him when we made Fuck Love or whatever. Wow. Um, I had I had went to uh, Lil Wayne's studio with his artist Hoodie Baby or whatever, and um, yeah. I had asked if I could cut something, and then I pulled up this beat that X ain't even want. And, uh, that's how I did Fuck Love. I did the I did the chorus, and then I posted a video on my Instagram. I got it archived, and then when I posted it, X had uh, sent it to me in my DM. It was like, I need this. And I was like, bet. And then he put it on his album, but it was the only song with a feature on his album. Yeah. So it's like, damn, this shit crazy. Yeah. And after that, we just was close as fuck. Yeah. And we got so close to where nigga was so mad at me <laughs> about. Uh, Dating uh, Alex, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And ultimately, I was just like, man, I'm gonna deal with that shit on my own as a man. Yeah. That's the way it's gonna be. And we just went seeing eye to eye, and that's why we got bad at each other. But then we became back cool too. So, Let's go, you know. Man. But that was one of my best friends ever. And music will never be the same without him, but. Mm -hmm. We gon' definitely go through that shit. Yeah. Do you have like any music with him un unreleased that you ever plan on using? Cause you haven't like released anything with him other than like that little snippet on a love letter to you for. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I mean like it's music, but it's like I don't even wanna put it up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like there's certain things you just gotta leave. Yeah. Leave alone. Yeah. At a certain point. How do you really kind of feel about like um yeah. all the post uh human source release shit that's happening? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you back to his mother and shit, but like you know? How do you feel about all the projects that are releasing now? Huh? How do you feel about all his music that's releasing now? Like after dying. About like actually. Yeah. 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 Just handpicking 
any and everything that she wanted. It was like he had the set list and goal already. And she just, you feel me, added more hits to it too. Like, I honestly appreciate all the work. I love that we dropped two more albums after that because it's like we got to hear what he was making mm. and what he could potentially have put out. So if what you were saying about him being you know, the biggest artist ever, you know what I'm saying? That's some of the music he was creating, and that's some of the music he was gonna put out. So if people didn't like it, then it's just not making sense back then. It's not gonna make sense at all. But that's definitely what he was making. Yeah. I just thought the music was fire. Tri- Triumph is my favorite song. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. The way I feel about it though, is like, I feel like a lot of his music, the one that, that's dropping right now, was music that he could look at and be like, let me tweak a couple things, let me add a couple things, let me take out a couple things. But I, I, I'm here to do that, so. Yeah, exactly. People gotta understand that y'all could have been doing this without him. Yeah. Like, it could have been a mystery forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're saying, I, I feel you. I would have liked that. I would have liked to hear what was being worked on. I ain't gonna lie. I'm honestly a person that, I'm a big fan of Kurt Cobain. So when they put out an album, of all the music that was on Kurt Cobain's computer after he got killed or whatever he did or whatever happened to him, you know what I'm saying? I, I actually listened to those things and a lot of those melodies helped me with my, my rock albums. Yeah. Because I just, I loved it, you know what I'm saying? It didn't even have to have words. He's playing the guitar, making humming noises and shit. It's yeah. just giving me a melody in my head that I want to hear. So, yeah. you know, it's just like, to hear that shit from, from an artist standpoint, it's like low-key no like studying it and listening to a person's craft and really seeing their abilities and shit and what they can do with their voice. Yeah. You know, mastermind. All that shit, y'all. Yeah, absolutely. Okay.